everybody. Welcome back to Time of the Whovians United. Today, me and George are going to be talking about theories for episode four, which I believe is going to be called Village of the Angels. You know, ideas and theories that we got from episode three. So first of all, I just want to say that my first theory that I have is that whoever Vinda was working for, I think he, that guy, this really sinister guy with the cool jacket, I think he is Swarm. What what gives you that idea? Because he's got the same kind of jacket and the same kind of demeanour. And I feel like he... I I, I could be way off the mark here, but I have a feeling he's Swarm because he looks kind of sinister. He's got the kind of like long face that Swarm seems to have. It's probably not the same actor, but you know. I think that's a good thing to research. If if it's the same actor, then you may be... But but Swarm has been known to change. But the first guy who played Swarm, who was also in this episode, by the way, is a different actor to the Swarm that we are used to. It doesn't seem that Swarm will be in the next episode. Well, he probably will. So I feel like we should talk about, you know, the main antagonist. For next week, angels. The weeping angels. Yes. So there's not really much to talk about with them, but I think they do have something to do with the Mori because, like, they've got the same kind of like, you know, they 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 just seem like similar, like they're to do with time, and they all stand there like really creepily. And like, I I said this to my friend today that I think that the Mori are actually, no, that the Weaving Angels are actually dead Mori. Because you know how there was that theory? I said this last week, but there was that theory about how Time Lords are, like, Weaving Angels are dead Time Lords. I think that they are going to kind of go down that route, but, like, have them be, like, dead Mori or, like, punished Mori for some uh, some reason. I feel like they, they, they must be something to do with the Mori. And also, a Weaving Angel showed up uh, in the portal thing uh, at the beginning of the episode just randomly. Possibly to do with the Mori? I don't, I don't know. Well, yes. Um, wait, before you go into anything further, what is the Mori? Because I think when you say that, I think it's like those mud creatures. <clears throat> no, no, the Mori. The, the the people who were the keepers of time or whatever. Oh, those were... Okay, th- okay, makes more sense yeah. now. Continue, continue. There you go. I wasn't yeah. just talking about the Mori. No <laughs> That's what I was thinking um, about you were talking about. No, no, no. Um, the Mori, the Mori. The, Ima- the, the, imagine the... this iconic character. These iconic villains were made of the, <laughs> the witch point of <laughs> God, that would be uh, painful to say the least. That would be um, worse than the time shot. Yeah. Also, uh, in the next time trailer, uh, just going off the next time trailer and nothing from this episode, the the reason everybody's going missing on this particular night is because like there's like there's loads of weeping angels and it's going to be like a weeping angel kind of invasion kind of thing where they're just all going to go missing because of weeping angels and then it's going to be like this haunted place in the future that nobody goes near and it's going to be like ooh what is this place? I mean that's a pretty obvious statement now that I'm saying it is that oh they all you know disappear because of the weeping angels but like they all disappear at the same time because of the weeping angels you know what whatever it sounded better in my head <laughs> mm. so, you know. it seems really interesting with this and it's quite of a sort of a mystery hide sort of atmosphere it gives me and yeah i'm glad that we're venturing back into horror territory this episode had some good scares as well so i'm hoping to see more of that next week i'm quite excited for it and throughout the episode there's a missing 10 year old people are looking for the Mm. girl obviously we know why this is happening because of the weeping angels Mm. but why now why is the weeping angels doing all this how is the flux going to be relevant in this story how is it going to inject to the weeping angel story i have no idea i guess we'll have to wait and see so for the rest of flux there isn't a lot to go off from this episode is there (laughs) it's weird because episode three was also feels like set up and yeah we don't even know how to you know talk about the rest of the series that's kind of weird when you think about it like that i mean i guess it's like is it a good mystery if we can't theorize what does that is Swar- question, no, the big question is what does Swarm and his sister want apart from you know rain in hell and destroy the universe? I feel like it doesn't go any deeper than that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Chip. I, mean, not. I do think there is going to be more to them than just we want revenge. One thing we haven't talked about is Claire Brown. Is that? Oh yes, the her. woman. Yes, yes, yes. We meet her in episode mm-hmm. one. She's definitely seen the dots before. I'm assuming. I mean, it's not really a shoot. We just know it's different than this episode coming up. <laughs> but the big question is, after this episode, will we see her again? But from the context of after episode one, where she gets zapped from the Weeping Angel? Because in after episode one, we did have that scene where we saw every single character who's relevant to the series. And she's in like a forest or something. 
So will we see her later in the series after episode four? Yeah, I think Claire's probably going to like play a fairly pivotal part in the series. And if I'm wrong, then uh, oh well. You know what? After this theory video, I'm just like not looking forward to the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the series. You're welcome. Uh, Time to Hoover's United ruins your emotions for Doctor Who, I guess? Question mark. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't wait to be back on review duty next week. <laughs> Same. So I think we should just wrap it up here, seeing as there wasn't much to talk about in terms of theories for, for next week from what we got from this episode alone. But maybe you guys can help us on that front. Uh, do you guys have any theories regarding uh, Village of the Angels and the rest of Flux as a whole? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Goodbye.